How many people do you have in the hostel? Oh, it's for, um, 41 people. As people move in and out, we try and screen people as they move in and out. So we do it every six weeks because there's not a massive turnover yeah, here. Yeah. People stay here for a long time, but in other assessment centres where there's a very quick turnaround, maybe within a week or something, I, I would go there like every week, for example, to screen people. I'm visiting a St Mungo's hostel in Hackney where NHS England is supporting efforts to screen patients for hepatitis C. What you find out now is whether or not you've got the antibodies. Working with our charity partners like St Mungo's and the Hep C Trust, the NHS is helping vulnerable people like those experiencing homelessness to meet their healthcare needs. Thanks to a pioneering drug deal and a collaborative effort to find people at risk, we're on track to eliminate hepatitis C in England by 2025. That's five years ahead of the global target. I would say this is negative. There still are people walking around with hep C that don't know about yeah, it. Yeah. People who've experienced homelessness are often at increased risk of contracting hepatitis C. Today I'm meeting hostel staff and clients involved in our find and treat programs, helping vulnerable people who found it hard to find the support and treatment that they need access our same day testing for hepatitis C. Anybody who tests positive is then supported to access and complete a full course of treatment. I know what's called a peer worker, so I've had hep C, done the treatment and cleared it. Treatment is really easy to take now. In the old days it was a horrible treatment, mm -hmm. but now it's just one tablet a day, usually for 12 weeks, and there's a 97% success rate. I want them to have a good service, because I know how tough it is for people on the fringes of our society. It's good. Yeah, check it out. I'll we'll make sure I'm not carrying anything. Yeah, it's good, good service. The Hepatitis C Elimination Programme has so far helped to find and cure more than 70,000 people with Hepatitis C and dramatically reduced the number of people seeking liver transplants due to the yeah. disease. So, this is Luke. So you've had your treatment? Yeah. When did that start? Uh, it started about uh, September. September. Yeah. This new treatment was a lot less, you know, yeah. uh, painful than the other one, yeah. than the old one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Hepatitis C Elimination Programme is at the forefront of the NHS England's drive to reduce health inequalities, with 80% of treatments going to the most deprived half of the population. The programme's incredible success in finding and treating those at increased risk of the virus means England is leading the way to be among the first countries in the world to completely eliminate hepatitis C as a public health concern.